Ah, Operation Wolf. This will be my first Commodore 64 game I'm going to play on my C64. Now I'd like to thank Otto for recommending me to do this game first because I don't know what game to do first. Now let's see it working. Let's switch on the Commodore 64. If it's red light. Wind the cassette. And let's get going. And here we are, Operation Wolf for the Commodore 64. Shift for run, stop, and press play. Now, this is probably the only slight downside to the Commodore 64. You do have to wait ages to load. Here we go, the wolf, it's found something on tape. But the really good side to the Commodore 64 is that the games weren't expensive. Even back in the days with the Super Nintendo was around, you could be looking at 35 up to about £50 per game. Especially, you know, mum mom and dad weren't rich. And something that's 50 quid and 35 quid, they can't afford it. But something that's 2 or 3 quid, you can easily treat your kid to a game. This is what I do love about Ocean Games. The music. The music is brilliant. I generally do like the loading screen, but this particular loading screen, it looks like a Simpson with a gun in its hands. It, ugh. <laughs> anyway, it's not mainly about the loading screen. The loading screen's part of the game. Let's see if the game's any better. And the good thing is, you know when the loading screen comes off, you know, I think, oh good, it's only going to be about one or two minutes, and then I can start playing the game. And this is the thing, what do you used to do when the loading screen was loading? Do you used to, like, go down and get a lemonade, or get a biscuit, or did you watch a bit of TV? Anyway, now the game's loaded. And we're ready for some action. Now this game is, I can't explain it, it's like a, an army game, but you're like by yourself and you have to shoot like the world's army. There we go. I, I do like this music, it's really really good. This, this is this is really good thing about the Commodore 64. I do love the music in the games. Even sometimes the graphics are a bit, a bit blocky sometimes. Anyway, here we go. Let's get ready to fight. Fight for honor. Now, what I find in this game is if you don't pick up those bullets at the bottom of the screen, you easily run out of bullets. You gotta watch out for the nurses there, don't shoot them. <laughs> what else I realise about this game is it took me three times to pass this level. And the only big reason is because I didn't <laughs> I didn't use the grenades. I didn't realise you have to press the space bar to throw the con throw the grenades. You know, I didn't realise that until I read the manual. I should always read the manual before I play some games. Anyway, I, this is this is another thing. It does remind me of a. If you ever play a game called a Super Tank Simulator. There's like a second level where it's slightly like this, not completely like this, but slightly like this. And you have to shoot at tanks, soldiers, everything. And it's a shame I have not got that in the Commodore 64 collection, because I would have loved to play that. Oh no, it's it's beeping now. I'm almost, my health's almost run out. I've only got one bloody pack left as well. When you run out of bullets, it is a complete and utter nuisance. 
You know, you're trying to blow up a helicopter with one bullet. Come on, blow, blow up a helicopter. Almost run out of bullets. Yes. I've got one grenade left. Oh. No. I need more bullets. Can't kill it with one bullet. Oh, come on, come on. Gotta get that bullet there. That's a nuisance, this. You just probably just have to kill that helicopter on the level. Come on. Look at the nurses running after nobody on the field. Come on! Yes! Done it! At last! There is a god! God, is that, is that all? Is that all my health goes down? That's very stingy. I got no machine guns and no grenades to do the whole level. Yeah, thank you very, very much. I think I'm going to get very far in this game. <laughs> I am in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We're going to get shot. Look at that. How have I got a bloody chance with one set of bullets? Come on. Come on. Pick it up. Look at this. I think I've got to last very long here. Come on, oh, I'll run out of bullets again. Can't believe it. Uh, come on. i just got to pick these up. Come on. Oh. What I find about older games, they're a lot harder to play. Come on. What's that man running in the middle of the field with the uh, bike helmet on? <laughs> oh. I hope I get more bloody I hope I get more bullets and stuff this time. I'm gonna need it. That's better. Now I could take some real action on the field. Here anyway, I'd like to thank Otto for recommending me to do this. I bet Otto will know a lot more about this game than me and know what to do on it. I just... It takes me ages to kill people on here. I would have got a lot further on this level. Probably all because I got more guns, armour and everything. So, what do I personally think about this game? It's not the worst game I've ever played, but it's not the not the best game I've ever played. It's it belongs to the mediocre for me. It's I have played better games than this. Like I, what I remember on Super Tank, he had a level similar to this, and it did look better. You know, the graphics and thing did look better, as far as I remembered. Anyway. But you know, it's it can be. Oh, it it seems it seems to be really really hard. And it's nothing's wrong with really really hard games, but sometimes it can get really frustratingly hard. And this is what this game's like. You know. I'm not going to get much further in this game. I completely run out of bullets. I completely run out of grenades. I completely run out of everything. I might as well just commit suicide in that river if I can do it. No! That's it. I think it's game over now. I think that man with the bike helmet did the right thing. Just run away from it all. Mission terminated. Just spend more on your army instead of having one person fighting for you. Anyway, at least I'm on the scoreboard. I'm seventh place from the top. Not too bad for my um, well tenth go on it, I suppose. Anyway, this is my review of this game, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.